I'm so excited for today. Welcome, welcome back. Um, we're in a new environment. This is actually not my house. I'm at my mom's house. Um, we have some construction going on at our house today, so I headed out of there. Um, but I had to film still because I got a box of makeup. Um, oh, I'm so excited. So we have to open it together. Um, I have been trying to get my hands on Jeffree Star Cosmetics products for so long and they are always sold out and I am so bad. I'm like bad at buying tickets on like online when they are released. I'm just bad at this stuff. I'm bad at when they launch makeup, getting it right away. It's too hard and stressful and I can never do it and I never ever get it. Um, but finally they did a restock and so I got some of his makeup. I have actually never tried a Jeffree Star product before. Um, so I, I want to unbox it together and then try a few things. I'll try some more in the future, but I just want to test out a few things today. So excited. Oh, it's like just the tissue paper. So if you don't know, I have so much to talk about. Okay, if you don't know, Jane Dawson is a huge YouTuber who did a docu-series on Jeffree Star who owns a cosmetic brand and they did like a deep dive into um, what like the behind the scenes, what it takes to make um, like a palette and some makeup products. Um, they did a Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson collab and it was like the most successful launch of any makeup in all history ever. I doubt anything will ever compare to that. So you got to see like little, little things like what kind of um, wrapping paper they use. The stickers, like all of this. Now when I open this, I think about it. Everything that went into it. So it's definitely like the experience now. So first thing. Oh, that's sick is the cremated palette which we will get into i promise so much controversy jeffree star has to be like one of the most controversial people maybe in our world period so there's always so much drama around him um so everything he does is a controversy but this little baby whoo that one that was a good one so we will talk about that in a second um i want to take the sleeve off I love the marble on the sleeve. It's so cool. And then you open it. Oh my gosh, he is insane. Such a boss. Oh, those are really pretty. Like, that's pretty. That's a really pretty palette. I'm excited. Okay, so we're definitely gonna play. I'm gonna do an eyeshadow look today. We're gonna play with that one for sure. Okay, I got the Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the color, oh my God. This is so cute with like the Jeffree Star logo and then the Shane Dawson logo is so cute. I love how they did that. I'm gonna open this, see the color. Oh. I feel like this is kind of what he got his kick, his start on is the liquid lipstick formula. It's kind of like, he's kind of, famous for i guess and then i got one more of the velour liquid lipsticks and this one is in the color ryland shane dawson's fiance who's so cute i love this color i love i mean i love pink hmm. but i haven't really used too many like pink shimmery lipsticks oh i love that it says shane dawson right here then the jeffree star logo Smells like bubble gum. Mm. Perfect for pink. I love that. Okay, what the heck is this? This box is iconic. Oh, okay. every launch that Jeffree Star does, he does a hand mirror with each launch. I can't open this. <laughs> okay, that is really cool. This is like Shane Dawson's logo, the pig. Oh, it's, I did not expect it to come in like so much wrapping. 
Oh my gosh. It's huge. I love it. I needed a mirror to show people their makeup when I do their makeup. And this is like amazing. This is a good mirror. That package, it was like packaged. The house. Okay. Okay, this is, oh, I love the packaging on this. They took this out of, so the, uh, I have so much to say. I can't say it all fast enough. Um, when they, Shane Dawson and Jeffrey made the controversy or conspiracy palette, they also made um, a smaller controversy palette and they took out this green shade that they showed in the docu-series and everyone was like, where's a freaking green shade? And so they re-released the palette, but then they also did just the single. And this is the single eyeshadow called Put It Back, which is so funny because everyone was like, put it back. Um, but it's this really cool, cool green eyeshadow. I love it. I'm so excited to try that. Um, I do have both of those palettes at home, which I'm going to do a separate video on trying those. I was actually never going to use those palettes and keep them as just like iconic moments in history, but I think I need to use them. I have to. I have to use them, right? Sure. I have to. Um, so I'm going to try those in a video soon, but let's get started on my first impressions of the Jeffree Star palette. This is such a pretty palette. Oh, I just wanna swatch and touch all of them, but also never touch any of them. Oh. Okay, so it's definitely, it was created to be a palette for that dark smoky eye look more gothic is what he's called it. Um, oh, what color should I use today? I'm like hanging out with family today. I haven't seen it in a while, so I don't want to look too crazy. This eulogy color is like the first one that pops out to me. I'm like, that is so gorgeous. I like that color. I like this last respects color. There's been some complaints about this palette that a lot of them are, these colors are similar. Um, like these two colors and these colors, these colors, really like all these matte shades are kind of similar. I do think he could probably like these two, that's super unnecessary. I don't know that. And like this color, this color and this color are super similar too. I think he could have like either added some other colors or just taken a few out, like had literally just like one, one less row of shadows and maybe a cheaper price point. Since I'm a brand consultant, I would know. To start, okay, to start, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's called Obituary. There is so much controversy around this palette. Um. Oh, I have so much to talk about in regards to Jeffree Star and this palette and Shane Dawson. It's going to be like a seven hour video. Try not to try to keep it condensed for you. Um, okay, so this palette first launched in, I believe, the beginning of May, but it was supposed to be an earlier launch. Um, but of course, with COVID, his factories got shut down. And he got so much backlash for this palette because it's like right after COVID and or during COVID really. And he's releasing a palette that's named Cremated and they're all like Grave Digger, Death Certificate, RIP, Paul Bearer, Last Look, Life Insurance. Like all of these looks are obviously like in line with that theme. Um, but these palettes take months if not a year to make so obviously he created this way before covid or way before we knew about covid but people felt like it was very insensitive because you know a lot of people had just lost family members and then to release something like lighthearted like this wasn't ideal 
Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go right in with that eulogy color because it's so pretty. I think he could have maybe pushed back the launch a little bit, but also this makeup I guarantee you was already created, and it can't just sit on shelves for years. Um. Like it'll go bad and he'll just lose all of that and wouldn't i wouldn't expect anybody to do that on personally in my personal opinion like that does not make sense business wise especially when you know it's just eyeshadow um but i would say like pushing the launch back a little bit could have made more sense but then he had other things launching it's like a whole huge picture that i don't think everybody always looks at when they kind of jump to conclusions but this is applying really easy, I must say. It's like, it's not chunky. It is going on really smooth. People have had very positive things to say about his eyeshadow formula, so I am really excited to try it. Okay, so I boycotted Jeffree Star for forever. Um, refused to buy anything, of any product of his because my very favorite guy YouTuber is Manny MUA. <laughs> I love him. I hope you guys watch him. If you don't, please check out his channel. He's so, 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 so funny. Like, he's hilarious. Um, I love his channel, and I feel like I can feel his heart. I feel like he's such a sweet soul. I just love him. Um, but Jeffree Star started so much drama with him. Um, it was called Drama Get In One. You can look it up. A huge fiasco um and really hurt manny and his business and i was like screw that i'm never supporting you um he also just creates he so 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 much drama he used to always talk crap about people like on his snapchat and i'm like i don't want to support somebody like that and then shane dawson did a docuseries on jeffrey that went not just into his business but like his personal life and you really got to see like why he is the way he is and he's like definitely trying to grow and learn and i think he's trying to make changes i think he definitely has more work to do for sure but i can see that he's trying and i feel like that's all that i like really care about for people but um man this color goes on so well so after i watched that series i was like okay i'll give him a second chance like i still support manny to the end of the earth but I would love to try his his eyeshadows, so that's why I decided to give it a chance. What shimmer shade? I love the shimmer shades in this palette. They are so freaking pretty. I love, this is like kind of like a, a, a color that that's just me, my vibe. It's called Afterlife. It's not a glitter, but a shimmer, which I really love too or this one would be pretty too it's called last look might be a little dark for family dinner though yeah probably um i'm just gonna go in with my finger because you know that's my jam but okay ah there's so much more to say um so he's really in the drama right now I honestly can't even go into it because he, because it would be such a long video, but, um, one, Shane is in the hot seat too, because he, he has always made like funny videos for like 10 years and he used to make these, um, impressions videos where he'd just like act and pretend to be different characters and he definitely did like blackface on those videos um which is re resurfacing now and um people aren't super impressed about that obviously like i don't really understand why i feel like everybody should know that that's not um appropriate so that's kind of disappointing um but i don't know that we should be like ending people's lives and careers over things that they did in the past if they've like l truly learned from them and becoming they're like becoming a better person because i used to think a very different way than i think now and so i'm thankful that i've had the opportunity to change and grow i hope other people do too um 
but also he has a big responsibility because he has a huge, huge, huge platform. His videos have like 30 million views. Like you guys don't even understand this guy's huge. So um, he definitely has some stuff to deal with right now. I love that shimmer. It's so pretty. I love it. And it went on so easy. These shadows are really easy to use. I'm not gonna lie. I knew I would like this stuff if I tried it. Gosh dang it. They're in a whole other scandal with this other YouTuber, Tati, coming out and saying that Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson like coerced her into starting this drama with James Charles. But I'm so not into that whole story at all. I mean, yes, people can influence you in your decisions, but I feel like she is not taking accountability at all um, for her actions. So I don't really believe in, I don't know, not believe, but I'm not gonna stop using someone's products because of that storyline because that's just too much for me. But he definitely, I think creates, perpetuates drama, encourages drama. That's why I've gone back and forth on whether or not he's somebody that I would want to support. At the end of the day, I'm not 100% sure, really. Um, I feel like you probably have to know what you're get, like getting into when you're going down the Jeffree Star hole, but... Dang, I do feel like these are some good freaking products. But J Shane Dawson like seriously changed the makeup world by um, doing this whole docu-series and showing like, behind the scenes on what it takes to make makeup and like how much money, they like revealed how much money things cost, how much money they make on things. It was really, like as somebody who's interested in the makeup, the business side of makeup, I find that fascinating. And that was so interesting to learn about that. Oh, you could go so much darker with this look. It would be really, really pretty, but family day, focus. Don't get too crazy. Okay, I think we're there where I wanna be with the eyeshadow. Let me pop off and touch this up really quick and I will be right back. Okay, I just ran and put some lashes on and put some of that pink um, lipstick that I got on and then wiped it off because it was too pink. Um, but I kind of like <laughs> where it brought me, so. Um, and put some mascara on my bottom lashes and I love it. Um, Oh, I said um a lot in this video, sorry y'all. But first impressions, loved the eyeshadow. Loved it, I thought it applied super well. There wasn't a ton of fallout, super easy to use, very, very like user-friendly. I feel like if you haven't used a ton of different eyeshadows, Jeffree Star might be a good brand to start with because it is pretty easy to use. So um, that was fun, thanks for letting me delve into all of the gossip too you know what i live for holla holla uh, i hope you guys are doing well and i will catch up with you soon bye